As rain picks up throughout the morning, people who live in some of the areas that flooded last month are keeping a pretty close eye on the canals and drainage around Choyas Creek. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas joins us live from Southcrest and Sierra. The reason they're worried is because there is a steady flow of rain in that area right now. Yeah, Jared, you can see that steady rain coming down right now, but I wouldn't say that it's too heavy. This is what the neighborhood looks like this morning. The roads and the ground are definitely saturated out here, and you can see there are some road closed signs behind my shoulder here, and this is leading up to the canal. We're going to give you a better look of what the canal looks like this morning. Good news for these residents that have this on their mind. Is it going to overflow? Right now, it looks like a steady stream here. The water is just passing by. It's not even halfway up the wall there. Lyle's giving you a better look at that. They're very concerned concern because this is the canal that overflowed causing dozens of homes in this area to flood two weeks ago when there was that heavy downpour. And since then, there's been a lot of cleanup and restoration work. It's really been an all hands on deck effort. We saw it firsthand out here yesterday up until the rain started coming down. And even after there were volunteers out here that set up shop right around the corner from this canal on beta where they were handing out food to the volunteers and the residents that are choosing to stay in this area. They say that they're doing it because they want to jump into action in the best way they know how. The way that we know how is through food and a hot meal. So during this time, a lot of these people don't have stoves, microwaves or anything. Maybe don't have a way of having a hot meal. If you are in a flood prone area and you need a place to stay, there is a shelter open at Balboa Park in the Balboa Municipal Gym. And if you need a ride there, there is a transportation hotline that you can call to get a ride to that location. The city also has other shelters that they can stand up at a moment's notice. Back out live here this morning, like I mentioned, those road closed signs, we aren't seeing too much traffic this morning. It's almost like a ghost town in this neighborhood, but we do want to bring attention to South 42nd Street. So that street is closed right now due to flooding. So make sure you give yourself some extra drive time this morning. I know that Jared and Mel just talked about the road conditions, but the rain is coming down pretty steady. So make sure you take it slow out there and stay home if you can. For now, live in Southcrest, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.